Yo guys, welcome back to another video. It's kind of a vloggy video today. I'm with Neil and Mike from Drift Games. I'm appropriately dressed, dressed for today. And you'll see us. Uh, we are down. I'm down. I'm in Dublin. Sorry, I didn't. I haven't filmed any of this, and so no one knows I'm here. Yet. I'm over in Dublin for the weekend. It's a Drift Games weekend. Uh, lots of skidding's going to be happening. It should be sick. And we are at Rick's Car Care. Just out. Are we outside of Dublin? Yeah. Near Rush, I believe it's place is called. And we are with a very famous car. We're born getting juniors, ex Mustang, because Mr. Bossman of the IDC and BDC, Dave, has bought it. It's, it's his, and he has set an almost impossible task to get this ready before the weekend, right? Yeah. Dave's killed everybody off, and I literally arrived, said hello, and he went, You've got a job. And I. I just said okay, because we're getting to rubbing. Uh, rubbing down this uh, X Monster Energy drift car um, to have it resprayed, and it's all got to be done in two days. Done by tomorrow. Done by tomorrow. So, uh, pretty interesting. I thought it'd be kind of cool to vlog, and also, this place has some fucking sick cars, so I wanted to, if it's okay with them, show you that too. I'll show you quickly around this. I don't really know fucking anything about this car. Yeah, that is the power plant. In there, pretty mad. It's a VAD. Yeah, <laughs> powered by Honda. So uh, we'll just show them around it. Fuck it, I don't need to talk about it. It does this speaking itself. It's kind of, I think it's kind of cool video. Whoa, kind of cool video. We're back on the G7X Mark II for today because I've forgotten half my camera equipment in my van. So, uh, so yeah, there's the whip and uh, we'll get cracking. I love how I've just got this camera back from a pair and we're instantly chucking little bits of paint at it. It's gonna fuck it. So over here, we've got this unreal E46 M3. With what looks like a rocket bunny kit on it. Convertible. Got a supercharger on it. About 450 wheel horsepower. Another cool thing, the body kit is held on by, by Downstar. Pretty sick. We supply Downstar. <laughs> Link in the description below. Outside is this <laughs> a laurel, which is absolutely beautiful on the work equips. Guys, so nice. Look at the colour. I don't know if you can get that. Look at that colour in there. Wow, man, this is beautiful. And these wheels look so sick. Let's have a look. Fucking hell, we've got a lot of body parts around here. Oh my god. That is so gangster, man. If I didn't have Finn, I'd like to think that I'd have something like this. It's just so cool. Massive exhaust as well. So yeah, this is R33 GTR. Sorry if it's a bit windy, but I don't have my uh, wind thing on here at the minute. I've got to put a new one on because I had the camera fixed since I dropped it. But, um, guys, car looks so cool. It's got the carbon fiber front lip on it down here. Big old car, but they are so cool, man. Volk C28s, Project Moo brakes. Badass. Nice. I just want to take another. I just want to take another look at this real quick before we uh, go back in and attempt to do some work. Look at how cool this car is. Fuck, I love it. Yes. How are you feeling? Depressed. Very depressed. <laughs> this is what drifting is actually about, isn't it? This is what Dave Egan is on. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me. Also, this is kind of cool, it's kind of stupid, but on the boat over this morning, take a guess what my uh, my room number was. Uh, I'm gonna throw up a photo right now. Pretty sick, I didn't even ask for it, it's pretty mad. Pretty mad. Yeah, also in here. Subaru Type R, it looks like, Impressor Type R. Sick. <laughs> so 
So the car's going in for primer after this, yeah? yeah. A little lion under there. Looks like the one on my arm. So in here, we've got all like the other body parts. It's pretty mad, because I genuinely didn't know I'd be doing this today. Well, be a part of this. I thought, I'm just gonna put my car back together, but obviously not. Dave had other ideas. Pretty mad, we've got a pretty nice roll cage in here. Not as, it's not as hectic as I thought it was gonna be. This all kind of took me by surprise. I literally have come over here this weekend for the Drift Games event. I just really wanted to get some more seat time in and do some more tracks that I'd never done before. Mondello uh, and the IDC was like the, the event that really made me fall in love with drifting. So I wanted to come over for their event and just uh, join in. And well, as soon as I got there, Dave, Dave Egan was like, Adam, do you want a job? I was like, yeah, why not? I'm not really doing much. <laughs> um, it's still cool to be involved in all this. And it's kind of fun to be able to show you guys it too. Um, almost a little treat. I know it's a, I know the channel over the last year has changed somewhat, but I'm really enjoying making videos now. So I hope you guys can see that reflected in my content. And look at my new watch. Look at that, my new Rolex. So sick. What a car that is, by the way. But yeah, these boys are working tirelessly to get this car done. It's pretty nuts. I'm looking forward to the reveal this weekend. So Neil, this Mustang will be ready for Saturday reveal. Is it about two o'clock-ish? Half to Saturday. Half to Saturday. So obviously the video won't go live until after that anyway, but I think it's pretty cool to be able to show everybody like the effort that goes into some of this Shit. stuff. <laughs> it's mad. It's like absolutely mad the work that goes into all this stuff. Just for uh, just for a little reveal. And it's um, pretty mad. The car only arrived in Ireland on Tuesday they were saying. Which uh, has not really left them much time to get this done, but pretty impressive. Can't they'll get to work, mate. Fucking hell. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> I haven't literally done nothing. I kind of rubbed some stuff. He rubs me. Twice in the car right here. Yep. Um, that's pretty, much it. pretty much it. But I'm trying. Is that being rubbed down or what are you doing with that? Yeah, I have to do a special. Mike's uh, in the booth. And you're taping it all up so we can get it primed and then rub the whole thing down. I thought I was coming over for a holiday. Yeah, so <laughs> I was looking forward to relaxing beer with Adam, but no. <laughs> the chain turned to a masking session. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Pretty wild though, man. Like. Different. Pretty nuts. Hey, Dave over here has just shown me there's another secret room in this building that's got this uh, RB25, did you say? RB25 RX7. Just tucked up. Top down TDL6. Fall on the wheel hard power to me and come for another chill to do a bit more. And is this one of your cars or is this? This is my brother's car. Your brother's car, yeah? yeah. Wow. And this is beautiful. I don't you don't see many of these about, do you really? Like, not even back in England, you don't see many RX7s, even though they're so cool. Getting rear end The best rear end ever. Oh, I love it. Anyway, that's so cool. So everything's nearly ready for paint now in here. They're still finishing up some of the other panels, but I think they're gonna start on this, then the car's gonna come out and we're gonna sand that down and then get the other parts in that we're, they're waiting on and they're finishing up in there. Do all of that and I don't know what's needed of us, but um, or me, me, but um, yeah, it's pretty rad to see like all this going down. Special behind the scenes 
fun getting Junior's X Formula Drift car. Now owned by Dave Egan of the IDC. Pretty cool. Cars in paint right now, getting primed. Down to the way. <laughs> my uh, my B&B lady just rang to check that I was still coming. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. But I haven't got to be there by a certain time. Yeah, okay, okay, really. currently baking now so they're still doing the they're just in here doing the um, fenders and the front lip and the bumpers and stuff like that it's been a long day I'm very very tired I don't know what sort of time I'm gonna be getting back but we'll play it by ear I'm in no rush I just hope my uh, b, b will stay open and, <laughs> and long enough for me to be able to get in later but yeah, it's gonna be a super fun weekend. Let's just, let's take one more look around this Laurel. Seeing it in a dark color like this, with the work equips on it, it's just made me fall in love. Now, I don't know when I'll be in a position again to buy another car. But that, I think one of these would definitely be on the list up there with like a Chaser or a Mark II. Or, I don't know, the list is so long, who knows? Like, I don't know, I'm so far off of being able to afford anything new. But, can dream, right? Wait, 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 wait. So, just explain to me what you said again a minute ago. What happens now? <laughs> Ask Rick. <laughs> Rick, what happens next? <laughs> From what I understand, this all needs to be rubbed down now. This all needs to be rubbed down now. And then, what? Primed again, and then it gets painted. Cool, that's some noise. Go on, lad, pull it. Pull it. <laughs> Do you want me to help? No. Okay, I won't then. Do you want me to help yet? Do you want me to help? I want to stop. Do you, me, do you want me to help? Wait, just stop. Just give me one. So she's out. From the first coat, I guess. Yeah, sweet. The progress. The progress. Are we coming back tomorrow to look at it, do you reckon, or just unveiling it on the weekend? I'll probably see it tomorrow in Mondello. In Mondello. As I've been uh, walking around, I have spotted one of their trucks here, and I think I love it. It is a Toyota Hilux Surf. Now, any of my friends watching, you'll know that I fucking love these things, and I banged on about almost buying one for so long. So this one's obviously got a lift kit on it. The big JDM extras like the um, wind deflectors and that, and the ball bars, the black wheels, it just looks so sick. It's just mad. Like, look at this. Everything is like unreal on this car. What is that on the bonnet as well? Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> oh, I just, oh, it's just so badass, mate. Fuck yeah. I was so close to buying one of these before I bought the Passat. But then I just thought, oh, I think it's something a bit more newer, reliable, better on fuel. But yeah, I, I have a real soft spot for these. And then next to it is that GTR. Now the sun's not as harsh, so we can have a proper look. Um, R33 GTR. It's almost like the, the most unloved version, but I'm a big fan of these. I think they look sick. Um, so they're a super nice looking car. Still a GTR, and the prices of these are going through the roof now. Nice carbon fibre splitter, like I mentioned earlier. Looks great. How can you not love a GTR, no matter what guys it is? Oh, look at that beast. <laughs> look at that. 
Yeah, that is something nice, man. What's a V spec? Teamwork makes the dream work, look. All the boys hard at work. Apart from you, you're not you're not working hard enough. Am I not? <laughs> so the guys are working behind me. I'm going to be shooting off soon because I need to go check in my hotel or my B&B, whatever I'm staying in over here. Um, a couple of the other guys are going to stay a bit later on and crack on with it. What I will do for you guys is, I won't release this video yet. I'm going to hold tight until we've got actual video of it at Mondello, um, all painted up so we can show you the final product, I guess I can call it the final product, and uh, close up the video that way. So I will catch you then. There it is. How sick does that look? As you can see, the garage is quite small, but so it's been painted like matte black and they're having all the graphics put on. It looks like a beast.